What is up, Annihilation Nation? It's me, it's me, it's Stone Cold 4215. Back with another review. This time, a TWA, The Bash. Yes, I know this happened at the middle of September, and I've been busy doing a lot of things for school. Anyway, on to the review of The Bash. We start off The Bash. With the high class society. All members of the high class society. To start off the show to celebrate Zack Snow's birthday. Hashtag excellence. The GM of TWA. So as they celebrate. Out comes Jordan the Giant. The Mad Dog. And Kazam. Telling them that they are going to lose tonight. And as all this goes on, you can see Luke Knight exit the ring on the one side. And you don't see him in the picture until he does. He tries to do the night print to Tyler and hit Zack. With the cake in his hand. I was laughing. Because Luke decided to eat the cake afterwards. Excellent job Luke. Because it was freaking comedy gold. But, But Tyler. The way you were doing that interview. The way you were doing that promo was absolutely hilarious. Just that little off topic about Piggly Wiggly's crack was... I was dying out laughing from that, too. Excellent. Anyway. Zach then puts his GM spot on the line tonight. Saying that if he loses tonight, he is no longer GM at TWA. Alright. So... We now get that match set up where if TW if Team TWA loses, then they all have to join the High Class Society. But if High Class Society loses, then Zack Snow is out of the GM spot. So then we get Jay Styles off a of commentary, which I hate because Jay Styles makes commentary so much fun. And he gets to referee the first match of the bash with two brand new debuting superstars that I can't even pronounce the names. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't even pronounce the names, so. And then we come to the second match of the show Justin Kreiser, the underdog, versus Kyle Wall versus the returning coroner. Versus Cocaine. And we see Kreiser pick up the win on Coroner. Which was an in, which was a very, very highly entertaining match. Kreiser, you are doing absolutely phenomenal. And I applaud you one step of the way for it. So then we get the Extreme Championship match. The Daredevil David Snow versus Mr. Amazing Kazam. Which David comes out with his brother, who was also the special referee for the match. We hear Zach talking, and the match goes from an Extreme Rules match. To a normal match, which really you're supposed to be the so called king of extreme, David. And I know best, I know best in the backyard has already happened, but this happened before best in the backyard. But you are the so called king of extreme. Wouldn't you want to put that money? Wouldn't you want to put money where your mouth is for that one? 
So, Kazam gets screwed over after David pretends to hit himself with a chair and then hands the chair to Kazam. Which was absolutely stupid. So you pretty much pulled an Eddie Guerrero move, David. You pulled an Eddie Guerrero. Smooth. Um, the next match was for the Classic Championship. Robert Miss, the Classic Champion, takes on the returning Mason Brooks. And I kind of predicted this match already, that I knew that Robert Miss was going to win, because why would you have him drop the title already? So, it makes a lot of sense that they keep Robert Miss as the champion. And now comes my favorite match of the night. Deadeye, Dylan McQuinn. Takes on Luke Knight. Now, I may sound a little redundant here, but I love Deadeye now. Deadeye is awesome. I love him as the face. I love the open challenges that he's doing to the high class society and the TWA in general. I love this whole thing. Deadeye. You made a fan out of me now. I take that as a compliment. You made a fan out of me. Anyway, Luke Knight hits the King's Order and wins. So now comes to the main event, which had a lot of things in it. High Class Society enters, and then came Kazam, Jordan, Tyler, and they're missing two members, because it's supposed to be a 10-man tag, isn't it? Well, number four of the match, the underdog, Justin Kreiser. Yes, the underdog is back for another match, this time for the main event, and my goodness, Kreiser, what can I say? You did an absolutely phenomenal job. Even though you didn't last long, you you did amazing, and I'm proud of that. And then the final guy, his way. Welcome back to TWA, Jay Styles. Yes, Jay Styles is back in the ring from his ankle injury, and I absolutely loved it. I was going nuts. So, as Jay Styles. And Tyler were figuring out who was going to start off the match. We see Kazam grab a kendo stick. He just hits every single member of the team and walks out on them. We saw Kazam turn heel right there in the main event. I was going, are you kidding me? And I thought he was going to join the high class society for a minute. But he just walks out. So the match goes on. And then all of a sudden, I, we see Jason Vane walking to the other side. We get another turn. Jason Vane has turned good. And I predicted this one before. Jason Vane, the last two matches that he's had with the Mad Dog, he has given his respects to Tyler. He has shown good sportsmanship. 
And I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw Jason Vane turn good. And at the bash, it happened. So the match goes on. Each member gets eliminated until we're down to the final two. Jay Styles and the Daredevil. And guess who picks up the win? None other than the returning Jay Styles. Which means, from the beginning of the show, Zack Snow loses his GM spot at the end of the night. So, he makes one more match. He makes two more matches for Carnage and Chaos, the final show for this year. It will be Luke Knight taking on the Mad Dog Tyler Smith for the TWA World Championship. And it will be Jason Vane versus Zack Snow in the first ever casket match. Zack, you're going to die, man. You are going to die. But, one last thing. Luke Knight hits the King's Order on both Davis and Kid Ink. Luke Knight has disintegrated from the High Class Society. It's over. The High Class Society is going to be no more. Let me guys, I want you guys to say this. I want you guys to tell me if I should, if I should videotape some of this live for you guys next or what. So, thank you guys for watching and hopefully at Carnage and Chaos there will be a little bit more excitement for you guys. So, see you guys and thanks for watching. Peace out.